the Dodge. Just gonna go out to the Toyota and explain how the air intake works. Because, okay. Now, I'm not losing any power with the carburetor and, or the uh, snorkel that is for that matter. Hmm. Looks like a hole to me. Another hole. Vents. You know, these vents go straight to the outside. They don't go to the AC. They're always, when you go, the faster you go, the more air comes out of those vents. There's the air intake. It's another hole. Hmm. <clears throat> no, it's not losing any power. There's no possible way this truck's that sealed. And yeah, I know I beat the truck up. That was because I was young. Didn't know what I was doing. And stupid going mud in and not checking the fluids. <clears throat> or changing the fluids after that matter in the differential. I got water in there and I didn't know. Kept driving it and then that next thing I know. <sighs> There's a car. Excuse me. Um, yep, it's, um, it's a free flow. I mean, that's pretty big. Can't fit my hand around that. My big hands. <clears throat> Hubcap pipe. Another pipe. Same size as this in there. There's where those vents come from up there. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, that's pretty much it on the air intake issue. There's no, um, issues. There's no way I could lose any horsepower with that. <clears throat> but, um, sounds cool. <laughs> yeah, I know, I beat the hell out of it. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking. Stupid. But I'm paying for it now, so. The bumper. I welded that together. Put it on with some steel pipe <clears throat> and angle iron and some more support. Not the rope, just that. I don't know what the rope's for. Yep. I'm getting. I should be getting a new rear axle soon. So, um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. It's just quieter now that I got the alternator in there. If you look at any of my last videos, that's the only thing you can hear. So, yep. Voltage regulator. So, alright, well, that's it. So, catch y'all later. Bye.